It is so great you could be with us again. I am with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a food and wine sommelier of the year. The group includes where we are, Church Key, yes, downstairs, Birch and Barley. And I uh, haven't given any love to Iron Gate in DuPont Circle in quite a while. Greg, it is always good to see good you. Good to my man. What is on tap this week, local? This week, it, we are drinking local. We're drinking from Washington, D.C., and one of our old favorites, uh, D.C. Brow. So this week, eight years ago, wow, DC Brow opened its doors off, uh, and poured its first kegs in the district for the first time. So that would be on tax day uh, in uh, 2011, which is amazing. So uh, well, that we, was the year I got audited. <laughs> and we just um, celebrated with them at Church Key earlier this week. Uh, and we celebrated with you know a, a host of their standard bearers like Corruption and Public, um, and, and their pills, which is delicious. But also with a brand new beer called Joint Resolution, which we're going to taste right now. This is uh, their first year-round foray into hazy IPA. Mm. Tasty, soft. Oh yeah. Creamy, sweet on the palate. Yes. Um, what's what's mm. especially cool about this beer is that it's only five and a half percent alcohol. So you know they could have gone the route of a lot of the, the hazier IPAs, anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half percent. They took it down a notch, um, but didn't minimize the hop character. There's lo loads of great tropical fruit, Hawaiian punch, uh, tangerine, apricot, orange, lemon um, in the nose and on the palate. Uh, touch of bitterness, a little bit of like a a piney resinous quality because DC Brow loves you know old school uh, pungent hop character, so they couldn't get rid of that altogether. Uh, but very fruit forward and, and very refreshing. Really unique in in a good way, that it, and I can't put my finger on it why. And maybe that's maybe that's uh, maybe that's what they're they're going for. They keep trying it, but you know it's just it, it's. Oh, I think it's a great hybrid. I mean, I, I think it's yeah. certainly hazy. I think it's creamy. I think it's got that oat silky richness on the palate. I think it's very fruit forward in the nose, but it still is DC Brow with a little bit of bitterness, some of that resinous pine character that I mentioned. You know, when you drink Corruption or Public, those are bone dry West Coast styles, big bold bitterness, really dank aromas that are almost weed like. Uh, so for this beer, I think they've gone all the way to the other side to make a delicious, juicy IPA, but they've left just enough of that kind of old school DC Brow character uh, to make it unique. And it's only five and a half percent yeah, alcohol. It's a little again, crushable. Which is great. Yeah, so delicious. <laughs> well, you know, the, d at eight years, DC Brow is only a little bit older than Beer of the Week, and I, I salute DC Brow Absolutely. for their accomplishment. And also, uh, the first time we did one of their beers, uh, and I believe it was Corruption, uh, we they they took a the, public our was, video. Yeah, and they put or, it on their and they site. put it on their on the page for that beer, which was amazing. Uh, which not many brewers do, but yes. you could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it was very cool, you know. And plenty has gone down in the craft brewing world oh over the gosh. past eight years. So, you know, to put it into, into some perspective, back in the late 19th century, there were 4,000 breweries in the U.S. That dwindled to mm -hmm. under 100 in the late 70s and then started ratcheting back up, particularly in the 90s and 2000s. So I was looking back on it, and in 2011, when, when DC Brow opened their doors, there were just about 2,000 breweries in the US. So only 50% of its highest mark prior in the end of the 19th century. Today, there are 7,500. So over the past uh, eight years, uh, it's, you know, 5,000 new breweries have opened in the U.S., which is an incredible thing, over three times as many as there were in 2011 when they opened. So there's lots of uh, competition. Um, you know, we were talking before we started taping that there's lots of tap rooms uh, and, and brew pubs that are opening and not interested in distributing their beer widely, but selling it on uh, tap at their place, selling it in cans to go, rotating a lot, you know, making a yeah. new beer every day. And so it's been uh, really great to see regional uh, microbreweries like DC Brow continue to grow. They're at 16,000 barrels, 16,500 or so. They're selling a lot of beer, most of their beer in the DMV, of course. They're selling in Pennsylvania, New York City, Massachusetts. They're even exporting a little bit to Sweden because they've got friends over there and people that love their brand. Um, 
but it, you know it's tough out there and I think it's great to see them uh, redesigning and, and, and growing and evolving with this new beer for 2019. Wow, I'm thinking lots of possibilities here. What would you pair it with? Totally lots of possibilities. Um, not too much bitterness, light and refreshing, lots of fruit flavor, lots of sweetness up front. These are all great things for food pairing. Uh, I've been thinking, I think just because the tropical sensations, is thinking more of like tiki food and like uh, teriyaki skewers, but really, mm. and those are pork, but you could do anything. Pulled pork would be amazing with this. Uh, wings, fried wings would be good. Anything, I think fried would be great. I was thinking of crab rangoon, you know, that would be um, delicious grilled shrimp. Anything that has like a pineapple on a skewer, I think would be uh, Do we? Do you tasty. know how to thatch a roof? Or do we need some little paper <laughs> yeah, umbrellas? Yeah, exactly, too? yeah. <laughs> um, you know, great summer beer, BLTs, uh, fresh salads. Yeah, work with all that. And, and summer may be teasing us a little bit, but uh, it, unlike winter is coming in Game of Thrones, summer is coming to D.C. So, uh, Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. D.C. Brow, thank you. Here's to the next date and the next date and the next date after that. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.